Hello everyone, and what the hell am I? I am apparently a Teensy. I just switched characters just for the hell of it. Teensy is one of the newer characters that we've unlocked. I'll play as one as we begin the sixth world of Moody Clouds. I've decided, I know I keep, you know, talking about this over and over and, uh, you know, talking about the idea of going back through the worlds and getting some electrons that I missed. But I'm figuring, you know, I'm halfway through both the world wise I'm you know, there are ten worlds in the game, I finished five of them and there and I need at least hundred and fifty electrons in order to guarantee that I can play all the tricky treasure levels and I'm halfway to that as well. So I figured, you know, there's really no point in going through previous worlds when I'm halfway through the game when I'm not even sure whether or not I'll need to do that. Because I mean, I'm not really counting on having 150 by the end of the game, but it's possible that I might, thus making backtracking pointless. So I'm just going to wait until I'm down to all 10 worlds, no questions asked. I still might save the... what the hell is going on? I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, s I still might save the uh, very last level for the end, I still don't know what I'm going to do about that. But, uh, whatever. So, yeah, this is my first time playing as a Teensy. I'm pretty sure these are called Teensies. Again, I'm not totally familiar with the Rayman universe. How do I advance this text? Oh, pfft, B. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure this guy is, like, a call. Like, I mean, maybe he might have a s specific name, this particular one. I don't know what the hell's happening here, by the way. What? More loading screens? Did I, just, I didn't just exit the level, did I? I have gotten this far in the game. I've beaten World 6. What? Why can't I pl Can I please play the level? Hold on. Let me get back to that. Okay, uh, I don't know what that was all about. Fantastic, but all four kings must be freed. Really? So I can't play the level until all four kings have been released. What the hell does that mean? I don't remember this from last time. I don't remember- what? I've done everything that I could possibly do. I mean, do I need to go collect more- Hold on. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Oh no, there's got- oh. No, okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, it scared me. There are four more question marks here. This is the one that I- I'm sorry about that, that's a little bit of confusion. This is the world that I'm on. So apparently, because th th there are four more worlds, like four question marks out there. And, um, yeah, see, this is kind of confusing. So I guess e each of the four question marks will free a king, and that would be, like, at the end of the world. Okay, because so, I remember the sixth world being next to the first world, Gibberish Jungle, and it it's kind of, like, f from what I'm guessing here, I think the these next four worlds are going to kind of uh, be, like, their environments are going to be pretty similar to, I don't even know what I'm talking about, I have to show you again on the map, but they're all connected to the first four worlds. And, uh, like, this one's connected to Gibberish Jungle, and it looks like Gibberish Jungle as far as like, the atmosphere and, and the location. So, I don't know if that's how the other ones are going to be, if like the seventh world, the next world is going to be like the desert world. But I don't know, we'll find out when we get there. But yeah, this is as far as I've played in the game, it's, it's getting past this world. So after I beat this world, it's going to be blind. So, let's see what we can do. I do remember these these levels, like, this is where the game really jumps up in difficulty. I mean, it jumped up pretty good, you know, in World 4 and 5. Uh, like, more so in World 5, it kind of jumped up. This is where it's going to really jump up. I remember having a lot of trouble. Which is why I don't expect to have 150 electoons, because I'm, you know, because I'm, I'm figuring, like, oh, shit, like, by the... You know, uh, with these worlds being, are these levels being harder? You know, it's it's gonna be just more of a challenge for me surviving, and you know, with that, it's gonna be a lot harder for me to get electrons, which is why I'm not expecting to have 150 by the end. But who knows? You never know. I am 
taking it slow, though. I'm surprised that I haven't taken a hit. I've been really close to doing so. I'm gonna kind of explore a little bit this way. And it's kind of... I don't want to make an excuse, but it's kind of throwing me off on playing as a team, even though they can... Like, they can, the different characters don't control differently, in case you're wondering. Oh, this is where you have to do, like, bolt... Like, kind of like a bolt bill type of jump here, don't you? Something like that. I remember this kind of being tricky. Hop off of these. Oh no, you don't. Oh, okay, so, sorry. I was treating them like bolt bills, like you, like actually bounce off them. You just use them as platforms. Yeah, this is where it's even more so blind. Again, I've played these levels, but I don't think I'm gonna remember any of them. These coins. Oh wow, I thought I could grab that vine. That's just decoration. Shit. Oh, these platforms are hard to make. So you have to actually do actual platforming in these levels. Okay, this has been a sloppy start to this episode. First, going to the wrong place, and now I'm having trouble platforming. I don't know, this isn't too bad so far. These things just keep following you! That's not nice. Yes, these are a lot like <laughs> bolt bills, because you have the ones that go straight, and then you have the ones that, like, follow you, which are actually called Torpedo Teds in the Mario universe. Shit! Okay, come on, let's not, let's stop. This. I, I'm not gonna go for the coin anymore. See, that's the thing, though, is me wanting to survive the levels is gonna make me probably skip more secrets, because I'm gonna be more focused on just living and not getting to the secrets. The thing is, <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna have to interrupt you with, with hyperventilation and orgasms, but anyway. Thing is, though, the coins are a lot more dangerous to go for, whereas the cages are just hidden. The coins are just in really tough to reach spots. So I I'm not really that that worried about finding cages in these levels. I'm just, you know, getting scores is gonna be the hard part. I think yeah, this could be difficult too. You have to shit, yeah. These enemies, like, all you really have to do is just clear out one, and then you can attack the other ones. This could be pretty tricky. Because if you want to be too, you want to be kind of careful about how you. Oh, what the hell did I just do? I don't know what I just did to kill all those. I apparently made the spikes kill all the enemies there. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I'm not even gonna question it. See his dance. I, see, yeah, I, I haven't seen the team see at all. That wasn't exciting at all. He didn't do like a, like, Rayman does like a, a air hump whenever he frees him. That's why I like using Rayman just because he he does the air hump. There's something down there. What, okay, it's gotta be yeah, it's gotta be a pla That's just health, but whatever. It was worth looking for. Okay, so these platforms just kind of drop if you step on them. Bad. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be going for coins as much in these levels as I were as I were in previous levels. <laughs> Assuming this is going to keep going, it's going to keep running. Shit, I want to go for that hand guy, but I, he's too high up there. I, I, I'm sure he, I'm sure he probably leads to a cage. And the, yeah, this is the end of the stage, so I definitely probably could have gotten the cage on the hand guy. These rocket guys, they take a lot more hits to take out. In fact, whoa, the cage opened up before I killed him. Like, I had like one more hit to land on before, like, when the cage opened. That was kind of weird. Let's see what his picture frame is. Nothing. I thought that the, I thought it changed from like a fat lady to something else with the different characters, I guess not. Oh well. Yeah, see, my scores are probably going to be terrible, which is what I'm worried about. And, uh... Uh, yeah, it's gonna. So I'm really gonna have to rely on finding the cages. That's that's gonna be the main thing. Okay, so that adds two more to our total. I mean, okay, if there's let's just say there are seven levels in each world, and that would be 35, and that would get me up to about 110 electoons. You know, just by simply beating the levels, because you get, you're guaranteed to get one. So, I'm probably going to end up maybe around 105, 110, maybe, when I'm... 
You know, when I'm done with these, assuming that I do absolutely terrible finding the cages, which could happen. Ooh, that was kind of a nice secret there. I'm actually, I'm gonna go for that. That doesn't seem too hard to get. Of course, what do I know? Yeah, see, like, yeah, the coin is like, it's not even against a wall. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I should care, but I don't. Oh wow, we do some pretty elongated wall jumping here. I don't know when I'm ever gonna get over this platform. Oh, I want to wall jump that again. Damn it! There's that spiky guy there. I guess I could take the hit, but I don't want to. I want to take a hit this early. I just remember a lot more precise platform. Oh, shit, see, here, you have to make that jump right now. Oh, there we go. don't know how I did that, but whatever. I think I skipped off the ledge a little bit. Okay, hold on. Let's see what's down below. Is there anything? I don't think so. See, I'm, I am going to take these slow, too. Not only because they're harder, but because I do really want to find those cages. That's my resolution for these worlds, is really just do better on that. But I'm thinking this platform should just lead that coin. Just keep going. Wait. Uh, yeah, that bouncy thing won't be there for nothing. See? Ah, oh, damn it! I hate those! Why do those always have to make me feel good about finding a secret in just a sh stupid ass coin? Hold on, volume. I think I heard one. Let me go back. I could have sworn I heard help me. Okay, volume off again. Basically, I'm turning my volume up on my on my computer so I can hear it on my headphones. I can't hear it from my TV very well, but I can hear it from my headphones if I turn it up. So, so, so that's actually what I'm doing whenever I stop and say volume. It's just like, check my head. Okay, god damn it, this is bugging me. There's so many good secrets, but they're all stupid coins. But I, well, I mean, I guess I can get these, though. I probably should be going for them. Hold on, heard something. I think I'm just hallucinating with the ears. Whenever you're searching for something and you, and it's something that you find like audibly, you know, you start to uh, hear that sound cue all the time. There's gotta be something. I'm gonna go back. There's two. Yeah, I, I, I can hear it from the TV. There's definitely something over there in that other path. I might even die just to get to it. Okay. That was an easy one to find. Assuming I get there. Okay. Cool. Yes, the music for these levels are pretty. Are, is pretty similar. I don't know why I'm using plural for music or whatever. It is pretty similar to the music you hear in the gibberish jungle levels. So that's why I'm thinking that these later levels are like harder versions or whatever of earlier worlds. Something like that. But I guess we'll find out once we get to World 7 if it's like the desert world. Okay, so I am doing better with cages, kind of. I'm finding the first one, which is something I could never do in, in the earlier world, so it's kind of funny that I'm doing that. Another thing is going to fall on me. Oh, oh! Okay, water. Thank you, water. <laughs> yeah, you die in one hit, regardless of whether or not you have a heart, if something like crushes you like those pl uh, like those areas do. Get there, man. I'm trying to take it a little bit slow, though. I don't want to... I mean, I do... I already got the, the lectern cage, so... Just get over there! Ah! See, that, that's kind of an example of this game being, like, harder than it looks, because that looked like it was a really easy jump to make, but it really wasn't. I can't explain why. I'm just going to swim it, because I know that heart's there in case I get hit. Because I see the hand down there, and that's the thing I'm worried about. Okay. I don't think I'm going to find the cage. Hold on. Volume. They wouldn't put two in the same area, so I'm... But this could... Wait, this, this isn't the end of the level. Looks like it would be with those witch enemies there. Let's see. I can probably get that coin. That doesn't seem like the big Yeah, see, these coins are actually really easy to get. There's also a platform higher up there. Wall jump that and get the coin first. Yeah, this is actually kind of easy to get some of these. So, how do I get higher up? I saw a platform up there. Maybe that's just for show, but I don't know. Oh, we're going to go into the background pretty soon and see what that's like. Hold on. I... Yeah, I can see a platform on the other side. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Man, you're going to miss out on so many points because you didn't go right away. Yeah, I just get back. Oh, okay, s never mind. See, I thought this was a secret over here. Volume again. Uh, 
I'm, so, I'm sorry, that's really an, it, it, that is annoying to you, but I really, I just want to do good on the scores. Yeah, I can hear it now. Up here. Yeah, these are actually pretty easy to find so far, at least in this level. The first one I had a little bit of trouble. Mostly because I was just getting, oh, what the hell? We're doing this? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do, I, I don't think I did this in the original version. Wow, that's actually kind of cool that they're putting these in as bonus stages. Oh shit, yeah. This might actually take some time. Ooh, I have to go down below. See, you have to break... Like, sometimes you have to use ricocheting to your advantage to break things. This could actually be tricky, I don't know. I, I don't think I ever did this in my other file. That was pretty interesting, I like that. I'm, I hope to use that more. Okay. I like it. Mikey likes it. Okay, so I want to get this done pretty quick, because this is starting to be a long episode. I want to get the whole level in this episode. And since we just got the second cage, we should be close. This actually could be kind of annoying to do, because of the wall jumping. Shit. Am I going to fall? I am going to totally fall. Well, at least the cage was in, was in checkpoint. I'm getting consonants and vowels mixed up, too. No, 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 go that way. There we go. See that one little... Uh, okay, I actually remember this too. I remember like getting so pissed off about this part. Because there's this one little part of the ceiling that blocks your way from when you jump off of there, right there. That actually is kind of annoying. This is another example of this game being harder than it looks. This looks like it would be something really easy and I just suck at the game. Which is partly true, I do kind of suck at the game. See, I don't really even care about the swing guy here. He kind of throws you off. I want to land on that platform right right over there. So I can jump to the other blue guy. Here, do that. And then jump. See, this, that guy's really hard to get to. Because that one little part of the ceiling juts down. I do remember this. I remember having so much trouble with this. And I hated it. Yeah, you just have to time the jump or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I'm not gonna do this for too much longer. This might be getting annoying to watch. Okay, I made it. Thank you. Okay, so this yeah, this is the end of the stage. Doesn't look like it's that hard. It wasn't hard at all. Just two enemies. Seriously. Okay, so this has been Mike One Two and Seven with a very good run of the second level of World Six. And next time we will continue on to the third level. What else is there to say? It's a platforming game. That's what I love about platforming games. You don't have really much to say when you say what you're going to do next time. Let's see what my score is. I'm going to get the 150. I wasn't paying attention to what the end score was. Well, I have 82 left, so that's not going to get me up to 300. Still, pretty damn good. I, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So I'll see you next time on Let's Play Rayman Origins. Peace out, everybody.